body modification is just uh, one of the many uh, practices that we use to, uh, to communicate. When I hear body modification, I think of tattoos, piercings, even like hair dye and things like that. A way of changing the body you're given to kind of suit you as a person. It's like aesthetic, plastic uh, surgery, everything is body modification. According to Chambers English Dictionary, body modification is the deliberate altering of the human anatomy or human physical appearance. Whether it is hairstyle, whether it is the, the clothes that we wear, whether it is you know bodybuilding or dieting, tattoos and, uh, and uh, piercings are the same thing. The earliest documentation of body modification is from 3000 BC, where a frozen man deemed Otzi the Iceman was discovered with over 40 tattoos and branding. In the 13th century, tribes began to tattoo their faces and body as a mark of identity and social standing. There could be, you know, religious reasons, you know, philosophical reasons. Uh... Again, you know, it is about all the very different discourses that circulate in society. It could be about, you know, ideas about uh, the body being sacred. Fast forward to the 21st century and body modification is still used as a mark of identity. People use tattoos to express their values and personality to the extent that there are tattoo conventions that happen all around the world, such as Brighton Tattoo Con. I definitely believe that body modification is coming more popular. Especially with my dad's generation, it was like, oh, you know, women can't have tattoos and piercings, and that's how like they grew up. But like nowadays, you see the school teachers, and you see nurses, and you see you see everyone with like body modification, regardless of gender, regardless of age. I think everyone's just doing it. When you think about five to ten years ago, you couldn't get a job if you had any visible tattoos, but now you can have a job in a supermarket, in an office, literally anywhere. Everyone's covered in piercings and tattoos. It's definitely becoming more acceptable. There are now many new growing forms of modification. People can implant shapes under their skin to give the appearance of an animal. They remove parts of their body and some people will even go to the extreme, with one man holding the Guinness World Record for having 453 piercings. I've done quite a few different weird ones. I've had a lady come in for a 20 hoop vagina corset as a present for her boyfriend. I've clipped someone's ears back, pierced a guy's ball bag. People request all sorts of modifications. I perform body modification from um, tongue splitting to magnet implant. And then, as well, if people ask me something a little bit uh, more complicated, more like in the body mode, they do. Despite the rapid increase in popularity and the fact that body modification has been around for centuries, there are many people who have negative opinions surrounding the matter. According to an online poll, 30% of people feel disgust, fear or uncertainty when they see someone that has been modified. And 30% of the people think that body modification is disrespecting our body. I always, always get, like, dirty looks, always. People just prejudge all the time. Some people think that modified females are disgusting. They say they ruined your body, it's awful. I have some heavily modified friends that are just stared at in the streets. Some people don't understand it because they don't want it. They don't know anything about it. Just because I've got a tattoo doesn't change my personality or how I am as a person. It just changes my skin. I've had like piercings and my ears stretched since I was about 14, 15. So going through secondary school with those wasn't exactly easy as well as like my taste in music and clothes it kind of gave people an excuse to like have something to jab at me i suppose but it's kind of like they're irrelevant now i don't really care so yeah there are many gray areas within the legality of body modification procedures and it is a very heated topic within the political climate today this is because some procedure types that have been gaining popularity in the previous few years, such as removal of body parts, are seen to inflict serious harm on the individuals. Therefore, the consent of the client is overruled. So, what is the line between body modification and mutilation? For me, 
if you want to change your body, it's your body. You can do whatever you want to your body. I mean, if you feel better, it's gonna be a better life because of this. Why not? It's quite a fine line, I think, to most people, but I think mutilation is more when you don't have a choice or when it's not like consensual in the way that modification you are modifying your body for yourself and your own like personal aesthetic or whatever you kind of want to change about your body different cultures negotiate uh, those lines where one stops and the other begins uh, so who knows maybe in the future is going to be much more you know common to just chop off a finger or something you know as a as a uh, you know way to communicate your identity or something um, I just think you should do what you want with your body. You only live once, it's your own body, you do what you want. And like, you're always gonna think that people are judging you and you're always gonna think, oh, like, I want this tattoo or piercing, but someone else might not like it, it doesn't matter. It's your own body, gotta do you, boo-boo. <laughs>